What's up, guys? I honest to God think I stumbled upon a clue. Nobody's not talking about this. I don't know why nobody's not talking about this. Nobody's not giving it attention. Nobody's not bringing it up. What does it mean? What does it do? What does it trigger? Let's get right into the video because I really want to show this to you guys right away, okay? Once you come up to the lighthouse, as most of you guys know, that you can have to do a lot of challenges here. These boxes indicate wonder weapons that you can pick up by doing the uh, totem challenges. There are five all over the map. You have to do three for each. Most of you guys already know because I completed the Easter egg. These symbols on the door might be a Morse code due to the thunder, thunder gun that you have to do certain things with. Maybe upgrade. I don't know, man. And yes, I am in the custom match for the love of God. But anyways, this box as well. You have to do some challenges to get the wonder weapon and so forth. But nobody's been talking about my friends. Nobody's been talking about Sam, Eddie, Beast, or Fluffy. Why hasn't nobody been talking about this? As you guys know, you can find orbs for Samantha. And these are the locations for all four of the orbs. If you do not know, if you shoot the orbs, Samantha will start speaking. And I'll be showing you here shortly all four of them. Once you get to that lighthouse approach, you will be walking up to this window where you actually have to pick up the rock for the first step of the Easter egg. Not first step, but you know what I mean. Once you get to this little window, if you go slightly right, you will see the orb just glowing there. It's it's yellow. I don't know if this is the first orb that you have to connect. Maybe there's a certain order for this. I have no idea. But yeah, it's literally right there. Once you shoot it, Samantha will be speaking and I'll be showing you the second location here in a minute. All right, once you get to the artifact storage, you will run down, you will come to this little window and you will aim left. And you will see the yellow orb just going there. Once you shoot it, Samantha will start speaking and you will hear her talk and say something crazy or not crazy, but something maybe that makes our lives a little bit easier. Maybe some clues. I don't know. I haven't been listening to it, which I am tomorrow because it's Friday. You know how it is after work. Hey, baby, we get sleep in. But yeah, um, I'm going to be showing you here um, uh, where Samantha or Sam first toy is located. Once you run over here, the first location that I know of is on this beaten up boat. And she's literally just standing there. And the only way you can actually collect them is by throwing snowballs at them. Once you throw the snowball, you will collect it. I am in a custom match, so I'm not going to be able to do it. This is the second location for Sam. She is just on this rock, just hanging out, minding her own business. Once you throw the uh, snowball at her, you will she will be collected. And yeah, so that's Sam's location. I don't know where the third location for her is. Luckily for me, she just kept spawning there. So I'm guessing that's the only two locations she is in. Now to show you guys where Eddie's locations are and how easy it is to find them. Because it, it was probably, you've been probably missing it this whole time without even noticing. Let's get to it. All right, once you are back in the lighthouse on level four, you will come over here and you will see that Eddie's second in order. So I'm just going to keep going in order because that is the best thing to do. Now, I guess Eddie and the cave is the first order for collecting Samantha's speech. I don't know, but I'm just going to guess it is. Um, but yeah, so Sam is all the way on the left. We're going to pick up her speech and her first. And then Eddie, his locations are literally right here in front of this light bulb. Yep literally right in front of your face without even knowing he spawns and he's just chilling there the second location is once you run down here uh down the stairs once you go through these doors um he's gonna be sitting on this wooden pole just like he is in my game and the only way to get him is by throwing snowballs and that is the second location now you know exactly where the two orbs are and you know where the two puppets socks or whatever you want to call them are hanging out now the third location is in the facility i will be showing you here shortly once you have collected all the parts for the facility entrance where you have to use the zip line to come up here and turn up all the powers, you want to run up here, run through these doors really quickly, run down the stairs. And the three locations for the beast will be one right there, just hanging out. Second one will be over here by this low power thing, just hanging out. And the third location for the beast uh, will be right here, just like in my game. He's just chilling there. Now... Uh, in order to find the third speech for Samantha, you will run through these little area where all these guys are in tubes. I don't know if they're being cloned um, or whatever. You'll run through these cells. You're going to come down here and just look and boom, Samantha's speech is going to be right there. Now, I can't find Fluffy. The only way I've seen Fluffy actually in the game appear is when I was doing a mini challenge for uh, the totem to light it up. It was the second challenge for me. 
where I had to play a mini game here, you'll throw a snowball, and then they all start forming up. All four of them, all right? So you'll see the beast, you'll see Fluffy, you'll see Sam, and you'll see Eddie pop up. That is a clue that they are around the map and nobody has seen these yet. And I, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say I'm first, but I haven't seen nobody talk about this lately. Also, there's a jump scare up there. I don't know how to trigger it, but yeah, there's a jump scare. Now I'm going to be showing you the fourth location for Samantha, which I think correlates with Eddie. Um, I don't know why I said the cave actually connects with Eddie, but no, it, it might be the... It might be the lighthouse, but here's the fourth location right now. All right, one, once you're in the lighthouse level one, you'll come to this window over here and Samantha's orb will be right there where I'm shooting. Once you collect it, she will start speaking and you will get the fourth orb for Samantha. Now, I don't know, I don't know where Fluffy is. If everybody can come together and actually look for him, that'll be amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you do run into Fluffy and actually pick him up. Now that you know about this, you're going to be on the hunt to figure it out. But what could it mean? What could it trigger? Can it be a secret song that we didn't find? Can we please Samantha where Samantha actually flings us to the island to see the Easter egg that we've been all been trying to get to? I don't know, man. What's your opinion on this? And let's get to, to this hunting. Also, if you start looking around the map, you'll see a lot of dialogues or written messages like this one per se. What does this door mean up here? Why is this guy up there? Um, does, does the hermit actually come out if you actually please Samantha? I don't know because we all know how to open up this box. We know how to open up this box. We don't know what this means. It could mean that there's a Morse code that you have to do with the Thunder weapon and it goes three, two, 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 I don't know. But nobody's been talking about these four. What happens when you collect all four? Can you actually give Hermit all four of these toys? And what will the Hermit give you? I have no idea. I also wanna show you another location or another thing that I have a theory on that actually might work. I'm not sure. If you collect, um, once, the, once you've collected all four dials, you know, the little logs that you have to put for the Easter egg, where you have to put the numbers where you find across the map, the blue, green, yellow, purple, whatever the colors are, I forgot. Um, what if we, instead of we put in the, the actual numbers in where it starts dinging, what if we actually start putting other numbers and uh, seeing would that trigger anything else once you come to this little power uh, area underneath where this magic box it is for me you guys know exactly what I'm talking about you'll see this little poster on the wall we all know what that is but there's a little number here saying 3810 people are actually um, searching for this you can see there's two people here just like what the hell they look like they're underneath the water um, You'll come here and then you'll turn this little radio on which they talk about the creature being on some kind of island where water is and that just you know shows a lot because what if the secret island this represents that what if once you're underneath the water for a long time you actually get to see this creature what if there's another ending what if, what if there what if the easter egg that we completed is not the actual easter egg that we're we should be doing maybe there's an easy easter egg that we completed maybe there's a hard easter egg that needs to be finished who knows man i just need you guys to start brainstorming putting shit outside the box thinking outside the box coming together talking about a lot of things listen to the recordings because the recordings tell you a lot um I don't know, man. I just think we got to get together as a community and just talk, be in this big group, figuring it out because Trey Ardino, what they're doing, man. And the, the the ending that I seen was shitty, in my opinion. I mean, I love the Easter egg. It was actually pretty fun. It was it was good. Um, the ending was eh. I wasn't a big fan because it's a final. If, the, if it's a final map, I really wanted more out of it. But what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below telling me if you guys already found this. Was I the first one? Was my team the first to actually find this? I don't know, man. Uh, just give me your opinions and happy hunting. If you guys find anything else, like any clues, anything you guys want me to try, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe. If I do find anything, I will be posting it right away. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.